Ruth here, and this is, as you can see by the packaging tape, my third, no, sorry, my fourth haul of craft supplies, I think. Should have been my fourth one, I think. This was part, this one was in, um, like, the ending, or it was both of them, I can't remember. Black Friday sale? Definitely this one. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, no, 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 wait. We'll just say Black Friday sale because I can't really remember. So, um, how am I going to do this? Um, I haven't actually did this yet. I'm just Take off my dress label first. There you go. Dress label off. Oh, my gosh, it's facing the wrong way. Okay. Mm. Where is the. Is it here? There isn't a seam on this one. It is opened. Maybe we should put one of the boxes in the corner. Yeah. Companion die step storage folder. <clears throat> Let's see, can I move this backwards a bit? They look like this. And this is the large. For the large over the small. Okay. So I got six of these. <laughs> A lovely handle. So let me open one and show you. It's very nice plastic. I can use that. Okay. for shanker cards or something like that. I don't want to waste the packaging. I mean, I can always... I think you recycle it at the bigger supermarket stores like Tesco's. Anyway, it's a very lovely. Large for metal dies and stamps. Used with large size crafters companion magnetic die and stamp storage panels sold separately. 
I didn't actually buy any of those because I bought some magnetic sheets on eBay and stuff. I actually bought 50. Mm. So um, I think I might need to like DIY the stamp storage thing. Like maybe I think on their Crafty TV when they replied to my question, like use laminated sheet or well that was the main one or some type of other plastic or something because I'll like, cling to it anyway but it's got a very nice tag I can like put what I have inside this one nice uh, ball chain there Very good zip. Let's open this up. Oh, it's got a very nice no fuss, I think. No fuss. Yeah. Just pull it out. And voila! No, no tape. Let's see. Safely stores dyes, stamps, and craft supplies. Works with crafters' companions. Magnetic die and stamp storage panels. Convenient handle and a secure zip wrap around zipper. Includes index and tag to help organize multiple folders. <clears throat> I guess that was the indexing tag thing. Available in large and small size. This is obviously the large. As you can see, this is large. Yes. <laughs> Note metal dies and magnetic storage panels sold separately. Mm -hmm. As you know, I keep doing things, and I'm gonna put, cut this up, put it in my scrapbook. I think I started a scrapbook for this craft supply packaging that I bought. But yeah, I will. I fully acknowledge. So let's have a look what's on the inside. Very nice zipper. It goes all the way down. This is a three ring binder. It's got a silica gel. Okay. And you can put your. It's got three individual pockets to put your stuff in. So, like, for instance, let's say you want to put, I don't know, some dye related thing. Or stamp related thing. So, like, for instance, you just kind of get one out of my little pocket thing. So, like, got me a pokey tool, yeah? So I could stick my pokey tool in there and lose it. But, <laughs> but like, you know, it goes all the way down in there. Let's see. Can you fit other stuff? Let's see, what, what other things can you fit in here? Let's see. A glue. Just about. You can fit a glue bottle in there. Probably wish wouldn't want to, considering you got, you know, you need a space for the dies and the stamps. So let's see, we can put a tape runner inside. Easy access. And you can put your low tack. Crafter's Companion tape in here too, I believe. Yep. Easy storage. So their low tack tape isn't as low tack as I'd like, but there we have it. And like you can put 
scissors inside too. You can cut pens. Not that you'd want to, but you can put your tongs in here too. <laughs> Technically these are kitchen ones, but probably baking set, but obviously I'll use them for uh, heating boxing or something to protect me hands from the heat. But anyway, this is a uh, very nice, uh, I think they said a double stitch or something like that. Very nice handle, very comfortable, very nice. I'll have to, because my magnetic sheets aren't measured for this, I need to measure it to see if it fits in here, if I need to trim it down. I need to use my hole punch if I remember where it is, and I'll just punch a hole, you know, for the three ring binder thing. So I've got six of these. Um, yeah. Six. So, what is that? Uh, I don't know, I'll just put it in for now. And I'll show you what's in this box. I already took a sneak peek. I wanted to make sure everything was in there. Okay. Oops. Locked into this. I think I'm going to get a uh, desk clamp kind of overhead uh, holder so I can, you know. Thing properly without having to knock my camera all the time. This is something else. So that'll be a different video. Uh, that's that. Okay, mm -hmm. that is a different one. Right. And a couple other things to look for. Lots of hair pockets. Do you think about these? They are green light, biodegradable. Very lovely. Just a alone one. Okay. Actually, there's some other. Right. I've got a whole smorgasbord of things. It's, it's it's, it's across two two sheets. <laughs> I went a bit overboard, but uh, you know, can't help it, you know. So, <clears throat> I can give you a little sneak. Ta-da! There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's see, that's an ad art for the uh, Spectrum War fan art, like a pro art kits. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. You want to color it? These are all in this book. Okay, so now you can see. Yeah. And what is this? Oh, yeah, this one. Things fall all the time. Right. <clears throat> Let's see. What if I need to put my light on? Maybe that helps. No clue if it does. 
Okay. Right. So first up, we have this lovely, uh, so lovely, cross stitch ordon ordinary ornaments, clear acrylic A6 stamp set. Eleven stamps. So basically, the uh, cross stitch pattern, like you can sew over, you know, cross stitch over. Mm. So I thought that was cool. Because I do like cross stitching, I haven't done it in a while, but like that'd be very nice, you know, to cross stitch over. That's that one. And here we have a Christmas Blessing Clear Acrylic Stamp Set. Five piece. Personally, when I first looked at it, <laughs> I thought the, the penguin was dead. You know, it was ascending. But this one could be just like a penguin angel praying. If you, if you don't want to go the dead route. But <laughs> that's that's my first thought, to be honest. Let's see, it comes with oh, that came out nicely for a change. Let's see. Came with Christmas blessings. Wishing you peace and joy. At Christmas, you're the on the nice list. May your Christmas wishes come true with the dead thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays I put like some clear tape or color tape. Guess it's a brand thing. You know, over top of the uh, two two plastic things so I don't lose each sheet, you know. Alright, so that's that. The next one is a Mary and Joseph nine piece clear acrylic stamp set. I thought it was pretty cool because it came with like the lyrics of the song stamp. Yeah. Well, let's show you, shall I? This way. So we have Mary and Joseph and Baby Jesus in a box. That's not really a manger, but there we go. And a uh, little town of Bethlehem, Star of David, a holly, a snowflake. Oh, come let us adore him. And another bigger Star of David with like a kind of like a, a border kind of thing going on. And... Huh. Lyrics to the little town of Bethlehem. A nice backdrop like they have on this example here. It's very nice. So I don't have any text or backgrounds. Those are always handy. Okay, come on. In you go. I can't remember if I really had any holly Sale, by the way. Um, 
£1.19. The original price, I think, was maybe around £3.99. This one was £3.49. Which the original price was around £5 or £6, wasn't it? Maybe. Uh, this one was £1.49. Here is a Create an Interactive Reveal Card Rectangle Door Reveal Stamp and Die Set. So, like, those type of doors with perforated edges. I mean, I can't resist. I, mean, I like the sound, you know, of the perforated edge when you tear it away. Like, on when I get posed or you know, whatever. I like the sound. So I wanted to make one, but I wanted to get a die and like, I wanted to make my own. I just threw on a scrap piece of card, do it, and just, and just peel it for the sake. <laughs> yes, I'm, I like the sound. So. This is the rectangle door. I love being, that's also pretty cute as well. So, and to go along with the rectangle door, I got upside down a curved door as well. The square box door was not on sale, so I'll have to wait to get that. But, yes. Let me talk. So that's these two. And those two both was £6.49 each. I think retail was around 12 15 12 I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway. So they have the same steps. The uh, tear here and open here with the arrows. Straight arrow and curved arrow. They have the same steps though. Which, um, Kind of, I don't know, been a bit different, maybe, but anyway, that's, that's fine. <coughs> okay, so, next up, to stick with Christmas theme, we have the 12 Days of Christmas Stamp and Metal Die Cutting, Cutting Die set. I can't talk. A nine this, and I decided to go for it. As part of the 12 Days of Christmas song, there's also the 12 Days of Christmas series they have going on. And then just to get this instead of like the other embossing folder or other dies or other whatevers. But like, I just got all of the uh, thingies. So also a part of the collection is like, Partridge in the pear tree and stuff. And more. Lots more. Um, yes, yeah, so that's this one. And that cost £7.49. Original price was around 12 I think. Now, we have the lovely Gina Douglas Bella Luna series 6x6 paper pad. So I not to get the other one because, well, besides being bigger and more expensive, just the small one is good enough for me. So let me uh, open it and I'm gonna show you this beautiful papers. I don't really get paper pads, but I can resist getting this one. Um, that's sticky. No, why is so sticky? Anyway, I'm trying to stick it in there. 
Look at that. Look at all that sticky residue at least. That is a hole. Anyway, there it is. We throw it away on it. Can't really throw it really, really out. I need to when it gets too much sticky on the floor either. Anyway, this is beautiful. I mean, technically, I just showed you the stuff in the back. Sticky, sticky. Anyway, those are all of them. Like, isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. I mean, look at the absolutely beautiful. Sheena Douglas Ballerina Collection, I have a Landscape Builder stencil set. An 8 by 8 This is, um, waves, I think? Clouds, forest, there's a moon, hills or something? I don't know. And a tree. So that's part of that set. Next up, I've got a Holly Jolly Christmas stencil set. It's a three piece, so it's a bigger one, smaller one, and the bells with holly on it. Get creative with color to create atmospheric effects with Crafters Companion stencil sets. From statement and centerpieces and dimensional backgrounds to ombre effect to borders. You can do so much with these versatile and hard-wearing stencils. Try stacking, sponging, spritzing, and experimenting with your favorite inks, acrylic paints, and pastes to make something special. You can even use them to paper and boss with your die cutting machine. Hmm, I'll have to try that. That'd be cool. So. I might put this here without things falling over. Okay. Hey, two more things after this one. So this one is... I thought I'd try it. These are Crafters Companion Rocker Blocks. So they look like this. You know what? You just... This uh, set before. So, like, it's curved like this. So, I, from what the video says, you put it on here, and like, then you just, you know, you rock it on. This is a rock a block, so you rock it. So, I don't actually have any curved block blocks for stamp, so I thought I'd cut this instead, because it was on a sale. And I never said the price of the other things. So, okay, for this one, the Rocker Blocks. 
12-ish, I think. So, like, they had a, uh, the, this set of four, and a set of two big ones, both $7.99, so I thought I'd get more for my money if I got these than the two-cent one, even though those, I think, were larger. But, anyway, so those are these, $7.99. The Stencil Landscape Builder was $4.99. Uh, paper pad was $5.99 and the stencils over there is $3.99 so now there's only two things left to show you <laughs> there's two things left <laughs> anyway so I thought I think I thought anyway I thought I was gonna say that I would get this because I don't have any acrylic blocks and I'd use this and then like if I had a smaller stamp because obviously I can't really move my paper around on my staffing platform for smaller ones so I can move them around on this and hopefully I don't need to restamp things so I'm looking. Interesting packaging, let me tell you that. I've never seen that packaging before. That's pretty cool. So this is the Rocka box. Please don't fall. <laughs> okay. So Thing I couldn't resist getting. The desk vacuum. This is the costing thirteen pound ninety nine. It's for small stuff. Okay. Chair. Back over here. Oops, got the cameras, tripod again. Anyway, so. Oh, it's charged already. Oh, you've got your little instructions. Loss content, specifications, getting started, safety warning, product instructions, how to charge, battery life, operational diagram. Cleaning and attaching dust plug. Blah blah. I'll have to try this over my laptop too. But anyway, a USB. That is not a C. Well, that's good. So I actually have another charger. That's that type. I, mean, I believe that is not a C because C is fully circular, kind of oval shape, not, doesn't have a straight edge. And I don't think it's a seat, which is good because I'm not sure what to do with all the cables that look like this otherwise. It's got little brushes on the bottom, like it sucks up through here. You can. Oops. Put 
probably read it. Turn base counterclockwise to remove. So what is clockwise that way? So that way. Yes. Turn it right there. You got a little brush if you need it to, you know, clean this bit or clean this bit. You heard it? It doesn't have a, like, a thing on it. But like, if you heard it, okay, I'll put it here. If you heard it, right? It clicks into place. So, yeah, key. there's the charger thing. There's the button. Obviously, there's the thing. Or whatever. And as, as if you watch the Crafter TV, you can now. Then Rosie put two googly eyes on there. Like it does, like two googly eyes, nose, little mouth. Like so you just click it once, click twice, so heavy duty. Third time you turn it off. So I can always go clean around. This is the dust thing which you put in here. Refillable blue tape and bumper pack. This is a straight in the dotty.
feel like you're supposed to you know, put it down but like it's a tape stuff. It's not supposed to. You know, put it down and click it back up. Yes. Next to the last one, it's supposed to click, then down. Down. I don't know why it came out. So, what they showed on the thing, how you change it, is you press push, press like little push right here, as you can see in the right. Push here. Lift that up. Then take that apart. You throw this away, I'll recycle and throw. Then you just get there then click there ta so there should be flat loads of five refillable so this should be interesting And the same with this one. I can just fit all of that. But like same thing here. It's got the same thing. Push. Lift. Lift. Okay. Then just take part. As you can see. I'm on my part. Like, I'm just... Yeah, it's just Alright, so yeah. I'll, uh... I'm not have space to put this in the picture, but so uh, I guess I'll put these right here. Oh, and that cost until $34.99. And by the way, all of this is not including the discount code as well as the Club Inspire discount, which is currently on the Platinum tier, so I got a 20% discount. So that's lovely. And so... Yes. That's everything. Three double. This is a good... <laughs> uh, What's it called? A good, um... Oh. For... I think it's the fourth one, I believe? What did I say? It was the fourth one? Pretty sure it's the fourth one. I still need to open the other order, though. Yeah, this is like... Order... 10 and 11. I still need to order... the uh, Record order number 9. Okay. Anyway. Lovely. So I can get to making some Christmas cards for me. Um, yeah. I'm just rambling right now. I don't know what to say. Almost. Wow, I've been going at this for 45 minutes. Just about. And, yep, 45 now. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so that's it. There's 
pack of 12 of these, pack of six of the storage holders. <laughs> and this. So yeah. So like so the storage holders is $59.94. So I think yes, it's got a total on it. The total I paid, the plus discounts and popping and stuff, was thirty-eight pounds ninety-seven. So the total price would have been almost sixteen, but I found all those discounts because Club Inspire and Black Friday or something. Um, and it was thirty-eight to ninety-seven. The uh, total order for that stuff is. Forty. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Um, so yes, so that's that's everything. Um, probably should end before it gets to fifteen minutes. So that's that kind of ridiculous. So, look forward to that. I know, some crappy stuff. So I might be uploading if I'm much action record. And yes, so thank you for watching. Next time, more. Don't forget notifications. Over and out.